this video, we're going to discuss three Boolean operators. The NOT operator, which looks like an exclamation point. The AND operator, which consists of two ampersands. And the OR operator, which consists of two vertical lines known as pipe characters. Let's have a look at each of these operators in action. Let's start by looking at a simple program that's designed to create a Jeru at location 20 and have it walk forward until it reaches the water. Okay, so looking at this program after we create the Jeru, we have a simple while loop and it says while Jim's path is clear ahead, Jim continues to hop. That's what this while loop does. Once we get an obstruction, in ca this case the water, this while loop will terminate and the program will end. Now we're going to demonstrate another way to accomplish the same goal by using the not operator. What I've done is I've written the loop slightly differently and basically what I've said here is while there is no water ahead, Jim continues to hop. So looking at this not operator, you can read this as the English word not or no. And what it does is it inverts the meaning of this particular phrase right here, this expression. If this expression is true, the not operator turns it into false. And if this expression is false, the not operator turns it into true. When we run this program, we see that it behaves identically to the other. Let's now have a look at the AND operator. Here I've got an island with a net in the first row. I'm going to create Jeru Jim somewhere towards the middle of the board this time. And I've written this while loop with an AND condition using these two operands. And what I've said is that Jim is allowed to hop as long as there is no water ahead and there is no net ahead. Both of these conditions have to be true in order for Jim to hop. Let's have this run now and see what happens. we see that Jim successfully stopped in front of the net. That's because this particular statement right here, once it became false, the entire loop became false. And so Jim stopped hopping. And finally, let's have a look at the OR operator, which consists of the two pipe characters. The pipe character can be found on your keyboard above the backslash key, which is directly located above the enter key on most keyboards. Here, we've constructed a a forever loop using the while true. Inside the while true we have an if statement. It says if Jim is water ahead, in other words if there's water ahead or if there's a net ahead, then we want Jim to turn. Otherwise Jim continues to hop. By using this or we're able to get Jim to turn if either obstacle is in front of us. Let's have a look at this program in action. We see that Jim is going to make his first turn when he discovers the net. But we're also going to see when he eventually reaches the water, once again this OR statement will be true, and Jim will again do a turn. The use of these three Boolean operators, the NOT operator, the AND operator, and the OR operator, can all be used to add tremendous flexibility to the code to shorten it and to control the Jeru so that it can go around obstacles and avoid the water.